All right, so now we're going to take a step back. We're going to look at the side of our trailer, okay? What we want to do is we want to make sure there's no holes in the side of our trailer, okay? We do have our placards, okay? And they are set in the proper position. This is an empty trailer, so you want to make sure the placard's not showing anything, okay? There are no holes in the side of the trailer. You want to check all your lights, lenses, and reflectors and make sure that they're not cracked, damaged, or loose. They are clean and proper color, okay? Now I'm going to come into some of the parts here. My landing gear, okay? What I want to do here is I want to grab my handle, Okay, I want to make sure it goes up and down. Okay, which it does. Everything works good there. Stow my handle back away. Now I want to make sure that all my cross and lateral bracings, okay, are not cracked, damaged, or loose. Make sure I don't see anything bent in here. Okay. Also, while I'm down here, okay, I want to make sure the foot's not bent. All right. We're going to look at all of our cross members all the way down the trailer. Okay, and we're going to make sure that none of those are cracked, damaged, or loose. Okay, these are your cross members here. Okay, you wanna make sure none of those are cracked, damaged, or loose. Okay, now our landing gear is all the way up. Okay, so the landing gear is in good shape. We check the cross members. Okay, we're just gonna kinda take a walk down the trailer here. All right, placard's good, light's good. All right. So as you come down here, Okay, the first thing that you want to look for is you want to make sure that you see your, you have your airlines here, okay, and your ABS wires and all your wiring here. You want to make sure it's all properly suspended. You make sure there's no chance that it's going to rub the ground, all right? Everything seems to be secure here. Okay, now we're going to take a look at our sliding tandem, all right? Our sliding tandem, we want to make sure that all of our pins are in the lock position, okay? You want to make sure our handle's in the lock position, okay? And you want to make sure that your trailer frame is not bent. Okay. As you look down the trailer frame, there should be no waves in it. There shouldn't, need, there shouldn't be any issues with that. Okay. So our trailer frame, everything looks good. You want to make sure all of our pins are in the lock position. Now with this trailer, pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to start inside and work my way out. Okay. So my axle, I want to make sure that my axle is not cracked, damaged, or loose. Okay. Now, as I go out, I'm going to check Let's go ahead and do our suspension, okay? I got my shock mounts here, okay? Upper and lower shock mount and my shock. It's not cracked, damaged, or loose. It's not leaking, okay? Signs of leaking would be hydraulic fluid, okay? And it's both my shocks here, all right? Now, my brake chambers, okay? Well, we'll get to those here in a minute. We have our airbags, okay? Both of our airbags. You want to make sure that they're properly mounted. There's no abrasion, bumps, or cuts. You want to check all your hoses. Okay, make sure there's no abrasion bumps or cuts and nothing's leaking from the airbags. All right. Now we have all of our all of our mounts here for our axle. All of our axle mounts seem to be in good shape. Okay, I don't see anything, any uh, shiny metal metal shavings here for our axle mounts. Okay, everything seems to be in good shape here. All right, now we'll go ahead and knock out our brakes. Our brake hose, ABS wire, okay, all of our hoses. You want to make sure there's no abrasion bumps or cuts. You make sure they're properly secure. Brake chamber, it's not cracked, damaged, loose, or leaking. All the clamps are tight. Everything seems to be in good shape. All the clamps and bolts are tight. Okay, now right underneath here, we've got our push rod. You'll make sure it's not cracked, damaged, or loose. Okay, right here. And we've got our slack adjuster. You'll make sure it's not cracked, damaged, or loose. Now, with the brakes released and the wheels chalked, you want to grab onto those slack adjusters and pull on them. You shouldn't have no more than one inch of play. Okay, now, you want to look right up in here. We've got our pads and we got our drum. Okay. We've got our brake pads. Okay. You want to make sure that there's at least a quarter inch of pad. All right. You want to make sure that there's no oil or grease. You want to make sure nothing's cracked, damaged, or loose in there. Okay. Your drum. You remember what to look for for the drum. It's not cracked, damaged, or loose. No legal welds. No oil or grease. No signs of any excessive heat. Okay. So. We have covered the suspension. We've covered the brakes, okay? Let's go ahead, we're gonna work our way out now. We're gonna inspect the wheels. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at our wheels. Okay, again, I wanna make sure I have three inches between the wheels, no debris, okay? I'm gonna check all four side walls, okay? All four side walls, no abrasions, bumps, or cuts. Okay, properly seated to the rim. My rims are not cracked, damaged, or loose. No illegal welds, free from oil or grease, okay? All sides of the rims. Now, tops of my tires, okay, these are trailer tires, 
They have to match. They have to be two 30 seconds tread depth, okay? Now, you wanna make sure you have no uneven wear, no abrasions, bumps, or cuts. Hunter PSI, we check that with an air gauge, okay? Now, we've got our lug nuts, okay? Our lug nuts are not cracked, damaged, or loose. No signs of rust streaks, shiny metal, metal shavings, okay? Okay, this obviously has an automatic tire pressure gauge here, okay? So that'll tell you if the tire pressure is good or not, okay? Now, you wanna make sure that your axle seal is not cracked, damaged, loose, or leaking, okay? And you wanna make sure it's a proper operating level, okay? Indicated by the sight glass, all right? We're all good there. Now, what you wanna look for here is you wanna make sure you have enough distance between the tire and the bottom of the trailer, okay? That's always something you wanna look for. Okay, now I would inspect this axle the same way as I just inspected this one. Okay, for sake of the video, we're not gonna go through both axles, okay? Now, my mud flap and mud flap hanger, you wanna make sure they're not cracked, damaged, or loose. You wanna make sure they're not rubbing the ground. All right, my ABS malfunction light is not on, so obviously our ABS seems to be working properly. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and come to the back of the trailer. All right, back of the trailer, general overview. I don't see anything cracked, damaged, or loose. All my lights, lenses, and reflectors are not cracked, damaged, or loose. They are clean and of proper color, okay? I'm gonna make sure that my door is latched, which it is, it's in the lock position, okay? The door is not cracked, damaged, or loose, okay? My DOT bumper is not cracked, damaged, or loose. I do have the proper reflective tape, okay? Proper reflective tape. I do have my, my tag here, and it's properly mounted. Everything's good to go there. Okay, speaking of reflective tape, I'm gonna look down both sides, make sure we have proper reflective tape down this side. Okay, make sure we have proper reflective tape down this side. Now, as we walk up this side here, okay, again, I'm gonna check my mud flap, make sure it's not cracked, damaged, or loose, make sure it's not rubbing the ground. I'm gonna check all my lights, make sure all my lights, lenses, and reflectors are not cracked, damaged, or loose, they are clean and proper color. Okay, I did already inspect components inside for both sides, so all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna check all my tires. Okay, 230 seconds, no uneven wear, 100 PSI, we check that with an air gauge. Okay, basically gonna do the same thing I did on the other side over here. Check all my lug nuts, check everything, check your tires. Okay, we're basically just gonna repeat the process. Okay, now if I did have a spare tire here, I wanna make sure it's properly chained. Okay, make sure it's not gonna fall out and drag the ground, okay? My light here, my placard, we're good to go. Trailer, I don't see any holes. We do have the proper reflective tape. Landing gear on this side's good, okay? These tires, 230 seconds, 100 PSI, no abrasion bumps or cuts, no uneven wear. Okay, got our three inches. Same thing here, we're all good to go. All my lights seem to be working. All my steps are good, fuel tank, and that's pretty much it for the outside inspection.